Christophe, I know the, uh, the last one didn't go the way you would have liked for it to go. So uh, just tell me what lessons you took out of that last fight. Hello, everybody. Uh, the last fight, uh, I don't know. I don't feel myself this fight. Uh, I have a long break after my shoulder injury. And I have a tough opponent. And I think Sean just make me to do boxing with him. I box with him and he's boxing his boy better like my mind and he win. But I know what I do bad, uh, wrong the last fight. I know what I need to change for this fight. And I'm here to really, really motivate and really to fuck this dude up. Well done. Uh, what's, the, what's, the, what's the main focus been? It's been like five months. Has there been like one thing that was the big key in training? You know, I, I know I fight Misha Tsirkunov. Big, strong guy, so I was focused to make a little more weight, be much stronger. Uh, so I was training with a Daru Strong. And I also, I started to train with a new coach, the Edson, uh, Edson Barboza coach, Anderson Franca. And I think I improved my stand up so, so much. My stand up is so much better, like this guy. And I proved this this Saturday. Is is it difficult to prepare for a guy that's coming down in weight, right? Like, do you do you know what to expect, or you just have to assume he's just going to be a big, strong guy, or you know, you know maybe what? he's weak? This is what Mike Tyson said: the faster people winning. You know, I fight with uh, Eric Anders before he was in a day of fight 225 pounds. I would have only 200 pounds, and I was more sneaky, more faster, and I control the fight. So, I'm like better fight with the bigger guys, like small guys. I'm small guys and fast guys, like very little in a middleweight division. So the big guys, I love it. Nice. Did you, did you know much about him since he wasn't in your division? Were you watching his fights or did you have to get familiar with him? Yeah, I watched his fights. Uh, and this is what I know. In 2015, he never crossed the second round. So... This is what I know. Expecting something, so you're expecting uh, something to happen in the first round, a very, very quick fight? We will see. <laughs> Last thing for me, I mean, what's, what's the goal here? I mean, is it just to, just to get a win, you know, and, and just get back in the win column, or is it to go do something, like, spectacular and get back on that nice streak that you had? Exactly. First of all, I want to beg for the win, and I want to show who I am and I want to show my explosive striking and I want to show the dominate and control the fights this time. Chris, thanks for taking the time. Um, you mentioned working on your stand-up. If you could uh, go into that a little bit, did you go to a different gym? Did you uh, go to the basics, boxing, what's going on? Uh, you know, American Top Team is a very, very big gym and we have a so many coaches. I just trained before the different coaches and I just switch for a kickboxer coaches. Before I come to America, I was living in Thailand. So I think I'm better when I train kickboxing like boxing. I'm more creative, more sneaky, more feel the fights. It definitely looks like you put in the work because we see a little. <laughs> this is what I say. The training camp was so hard. I still have a something in my eye but this is only because i trained very hard for this camp well i can't wait uh ko is in your last name so look forward to that on saturday exactly tko or ko <laughs> thank you guys